Tom, a big reversal for big tech yesterday. The Nasdaq rebounded. So did the ARK Innovation ETF. It rose 2 percent. But top holdings in that fund are still down sharply over the past three months. Joining us right now to discuss whether any of these names are worth buying is Stephanie Link, chief market strategist at Hightower and a CNBC contributor, and Gene Munster, uh, founder and managing partner at Loop Ventures. Good morning to both of you. Morning. Stephanie, morning. I think there's been a, a large question about whether what's happened to ARK Invest has forced the sales of some of these stocks and whether that actually has, <clears throat> has I don't want to say artificially depressed them, but it has, has it artificially depressed them and, and therefore they should be buys? I think we have to think about the backdrop of why we're seeing high tech, high valuations and tech selling off um, and the ARC fund as well. Um, we are reopening faster. Liquidity is ample. The economy is growing. We know we had great GDP with great personal consumption numbers of 10.2 percent uh, last week. We got the JOLTS numbers yesterday, which were incredibly high at 8.1 million. NFIB best since November 2020, when you have better growth, a little bit more inflation and creeping higher rates. That's usually a recipe for value to outperform growth and expensive growth, Andrew. And that's what these stocks are. They're expensive. So momentum is always great on the upside. You can kind of justify it with total addressable market kind of comments and commentary. I've done it myself. But when it re when it reverses, it's very, very hard because there's not a lot of valuation support. Right. I think of all the names that she owns, I think Teladoc is actually the most interesting one, um, especially given their specialty businesses and what they're doing in behavioral health. It's right. not cheap, but if that one comes down, I think that's the one of all the names that is interesting to me. Hey, hey Gene, though, before we get into the fundamentals, is, do you see a connection between obviously what's happened to tech, the tech wreck, if you will, but also do you believe it, it's, it's effectively being pushed even even more so by the unwind uh, in, in, in ARC itself? <clears throat> I think there's a, definitely a psychological impact here. Let's look at the numbers. The top holdings of ARC Innovation have a market cap of, call it, $800 billion. If you look at ARC's holdings, their percentage of that is about 1.2%. So if we look at the recent outflows of ARC, it really doesn't pass the initial test that this is causing the sell-off and these disruptive high-growth tech names. But I think there's a psychological impact that uh, just the incredible success that ARC has had. They've earned it still up, Innovation Fund, 88% over the past year. Because of that success, I think it highlights and I think it creates a trading dynamic around these companies where I think you see uh, potentially short sellers and other people put pressure on these names and just really try to spook what I think has been a growing retail presence in some of these that far outweigh ARC's uh, percentage ownership. So I think it is very real. I think the ARC effect is very real on these. And I think what the substance of what's happening is that the success that these companies are having more recently in the March results really have come with a muted response, a negative response from uh, at least the share price. And I still believe that these are great companies, but I think that is kind of the, the arc effect in a nutshell on these right. transformative, how, at least how they're trading. Gene, you, you heard what Stephanie says. She likes Teladoc. Is there, is there, is there a stock in here that you would buy and, and describe this as a dip? Yeah, I think first to pick the dip is difficult, so I think it's going to take three to six months to, for this to wash itself out. Ultimately, I think that this is a once-in-a-decade tech buying opportunity over the next, call it, six months. And to answer your question, there's a company that uh, ARC is invested in, Loop is also invested in, it's Zillow, big believer in the transformative power of iBuying. We've looked at the open door numbers last night, the Zillow numbers, consumers want to do this, and so that would be a company that despite the right. big pullback, I think that there's a long-term opportunity. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.